Thank you, Mark Jackson. Woo! I am for real. Oh, it wouldn't be L.A. if there was a, wasn't a helicopter flying over. Um, um, anyway, sorry. Let me get back to here. It was my son's second birthday this past week. And um, I made him a birthday cake. And I uh, made like a smaller cake. It was such a crazy week. You know, just the stress of uh, editing the movie. We had our first screening of it with friends and families. Thank God it went well and people liked the movie. I got some great feedback, stuff we're going to go in and fix. Going to address over the next few days. We're going to address the notes. That's where I am in my life right now. I get notes and then I address them. Yeah, I would love to hang out with you, but I have notes that I need to address. Um, I'm still having fun, though. Um, Anyway, uh, my thing is I make a birthday cake from scratch for my kids. Every birthday, every year, both of them. It's what I do. And every year, for some reason, like, you know, I don't know. My wife always, like, I don't know. She always thinks I'm going to flip out when I'm making the cake because I used to flip out way back in the day when I first started making the pie crust when I wanted to stick my head through a window. Um, But I haven't, like, flipped out in years, but, like, she anticipates it. She warns other people that it's going to happen. And actually, what's funny is I came home and my brain was so fucking tired. I fucked up the recipe twice and then I was just like, all right. I started to flip out and then I was just like, all right, just just make it in the morning. (laughs) That's what I did. I just fucking, I didn't even clean up. I just left the disaster by its, you know, whatever, by itself. And then I just made it the next day and it ended up coming out great. And uh, so my wife was right. She's white. She like is right to fucking warn people. It's like Bill is baking. You know, he's, uh, you know, he's an emotional guy, but you know, it's like if I was almost like I was a coach, he's an emotional guy. You know, he cares. He cares. He really loves his players. That's like me. He cares. He really loves his kids. And uh, he gets upset because he just, he wants things to be d- done a certain way. <laughs> Is there anything fucking funnier or sadder than listening to somebody explain away abusive behavior because the person they're talking about is either, you know, they're married to them, related to them, or that person signs their checks. And like your job is to go out and explain some shit that you don't, you don't even believe in it. You're just sitting there going like, all right. All right, well, I got to fucking somehow get him out of this mess and just, you know, um, the incident that happened the other day was uh, not something that so-and-so is proud of or uh, anybody is. And um, I know it upset a lot of people, including you in the media, but I can guarantee you that nobody is more upset than the guy that actually did the stuff that upset everybody. And uh, he's vowed to learn from his mistakes And, um, you know, we had a nice talk about it and, um, that's going to be it. We're moving forward. Um, we're not anticipating another incident like this and, and, and I'm not taking any questions at this time. That shit, you know, it's explaining things. Let me explain this away. Um, I'm actually really proud of myself that I actually got up and walked away from that game. You know, I, I really am, you know. It wasn't going to change. I knew the Warriors were going to win tonight. I'm like, they're too good a fucking team. They're not going to go down 0-2. This just isn't going to happen. So just fucking just walk away from it before you get your conspiracy theory going and and, and, and all of this shit. And I, I kind of did. And uh, I think I need to do that more. Because as everyone in my life has told me, I don't possess the emotional maturity. <laughs> And I don't. It's fucking true. Uh, I've been playing a lot of drums lately, which has been fun. Um, I had a little bit uh, of time off on Friday because uh, we were doing the screening and they had to get everything all. We had to send them a copy and get it all fucking set up and all of that shit. And, uh, you know, I 
always nervous about what people are going to think about, you know, the, the rough screening. Dude, it's fucking brutal because you don't have, it, the movie isn't scored, so you're just grabbing free tracks from the internet, right? And as much as they help, they also, they just, it's just not the right shit yet. So, and then, I don't know. So people are watching it with the wrong music and then you're getting feedback from that. So I'm really confused as far as like, so what do I do with that? If the right music was there, would they still think that? They're in the business so they understand that the right music isn't there so they're able to push through that so I should take the note. <clears throat> I got a lot of questions. Um, 